Welcome back everybody to another uh, short tutorial. Today we're going to do a cable wiring. This is a sample. Basically this is what we're going to end up looking like. But I went ahead and created another uh, set of connectors, put them into an assembly. These were Amphenol male and female connectors. I brought these in as step files. So they're basically just dummy files itself. The thing about these you, if you're going to have a database, you want to go ahead and already have your points in the connectors in that. So when you bring them in, you don't have to do all this. What we're just about to do, all you have to do is just go into harness and wiring and just do your connections. So for this particular one, we're going to have to go into individual connectors. You can right click on these and go open. It will op open it as an individual part, just like down at the bottom, uh, as an IPT file. But for this particular one, we're just going to do it within the assembly. If you look at these, um, these connectors, there's no point that you need to connect. So if you just go to modeling, you'll see point here. This is not what you want to use. You cannot connect a cable with that type of point. These are dedicated type point. So the only way you're going to see those on here is if you go into that connector. So let's double click on this. This one will gray out, so that means we're in this particular uh, connector. If you go to the right, all the way over here, you'll see harness. So there's three different uh, connections. Uh, the one that we're interested in right now, it'll say place point, and you'll see the little dialog example come up. So if you pick on that, you go to here, You'll see the green dot, try your center, don't do this. You wanna see the green dot because that's where the point is ultimately gonna be. So when you do that, if you pick, you'll have a little dialog that says place point. You can call it whatever you want. That's kind of nice if you're going to uh, name the particular thing, give it more of a part number point so you'll know we're pin one, two, three, four, that kind of thing. For this, we're gonna leave default. We're just gonna leave it as one and we're gonna say okay to that. The next one we're only going to do through cable. So you pick the next one, you'll notice it's number two, that you'll just keep on going. And the third one, and we'll just leave it as three. One thing you want to do before you get out of this, if you just connect the cable right now, it may go sideways, which is not how you want it to actually be oriented, orientated or whatever. So you want to go into manage. Come to the right and you'll see this list, the pull down. So you're looking for connector. So if you don't see that, just pull down the list, go to connector. This dialog will come up and it'll say concrete wire. Basically that's what we're using today. Ribbon cable, there's a reason for that. It'll give you a certain amount of points and directions for that. Uh, it's almost like an array that you do. So today we're going to pick on this face and you'll see the green arrow. That is the direction that the cable is going to be inserted and flow throw out, flow out of. So, okay. Let's just say, okay to that. It'll say authorization. Um, just say it's successful saying the wrong word there. doesn't matter. So, okay to that. So that connector is done. Let's go ahead and hit return. We're back into this. Let's do the next connector, double click on that. That one grays out, still has a point. You can see that, so let's zoom in. Since these are, I should mention this, your cabling is mirrored. So this particular one will actually be this particular one in this connector. So that's how it's wired in the, uh, the front. So let's zoom in on this. We're gonna pick points again. We're gonna start over here, call this one two, three and the same thing we want to go over to management if you get out of the function you just double click back in and go back into it go over to manage connector for this face this is actually a little more elevated so i like wherever the wire is going in that's the elevation i want to, want to pick on that you'll see the green arrow say okay give you the same thing and those connectors are ready to go you could have done this prior to pull them in from the into the assembly um, so if you know you're going to do that kind of thing just go ahead and pre-do uh, all the connection setups I'm going to back out of that 
and uh, you never trust computers so let's hit a save okay so we're good all right now for the next step 3d is the tab we're on now we want to go over to environment you'll see here cable and harness pick on that you can give this a unique name if your company has a wiring diagram they want you to follow a certain protocol or n uh, naming or numbering convention you do it here we're just going to do default don't really care for this particular sample um, i'm not going to save this so okay so now we have a whole nother dialogue so we're going to come way to the left and you'll say create wire this is going to come up and you're going to get a list you have different manufacturers and types and we're going to stick with belden and the thing it's going to ask for pin one and two so you're just going to run your wire for this these are the gauges of the particular wire under the belden we're going to do 16 gauge and the first one we're going to go ahead and do green you can tell by the the number the name so we're going to pick one on this side and one on this side you, can, you can't really see this yet until I hit apply. Then you'll see a green wire. The reason is I have a, a white background. If it was the gray one, it'd be a little easier. All right. And then we're going to do two and two. And we're going to change the wire color. Let's do red this time. Hit apply. If I hit OK, it would get out of the command and leave that. Let's go one more time. Let's go here and here for the ground. Let's go black. Oops, wrong dialogue. Black. Hit apply. And these are just regular, it's just a vector line. No big deal. Um, but you want to have it so it's visible. So you pick on this. This list is just the, the center line of what we were seeing. This is what we want to see, render display. So this changes it. If it if you need to see just the lines and it's too cluttered, you can just go back to the wired line. So we have that. And now we have our three runs. But most of the time you will do... Um, actually, let me get out of this. Say OK to this. Okay, so now you can see what it looks like. We have our connections. This is typical, but a lot of times they'll have like a... a a sleeve around it and they call that a segment so for that we're going to go into our harness we're going to double click back on this it goes back into the command we have the same list at the top we're going to go create segment and this one's a little different um, and you'll see why your we need a wire to come out here but we need to reach it out here so when you roll over the surface this is a little confusing because uh, the arrow is in the way actually if you right click on that surface and you do edit offset now you can see this little blue line that's right here is the length of that segment where it's going to place you can move it after the fact but let's just do it now so we're going to move this out 1.5 hit enter you'll see the blue line okay and this is the other part from wherever that line is is the beginning of that segment and where it's located so if it's up here this is where that segment it's it's a little hard to explain what i'm trying to say so where the height of the where it is placed is where it's going to ultimately start so we're at this part so i'm going to go up here i'm going to pick once you'll see it place a dot or actually a point now we're going to come over this one and do the same thing. I'm going to pick it. You'll see the line. Same thing. Go up, render. Right click. And there is your segment. This can be modified. It doesn't have to stay there. So that's what we wanted to see. Now we want to attach these into here so same thing let's go back into our harness and we're going to go to route we're going to route those three cables so it's asking for the wires we want to route one two three okay 
We're going to go to the segment and we're going to do a single and we're going to hit apply. And give it a second. There you go. It rerouted those based on where that was located so the cable could be longer. Here's the thing about this. If you right click, oops, let's stop that. If I right click on the point, I can actually move uh, in 3D. You'll get this point. Let's say I wanted this cable actually to be shorter. I wanted this to be over here. I can say, okay, it'll move that. Let's do the same thing for this one, 3D route. Let's make it a little shorter, bring it over. Okay to that. There we go. So we made a, a little different arrangement on that. If it needs to be higher or lower, or if you're gonna go through a clip, you can actually place that. So let's go ahead and say, okay. And that's it, that's all there is to it. You've made your connections. You can adjust these. You can go back in and change the cabling to different colors if you made a mistake on that. Reroute those and place it back into the segment. Hope this quick tutorial was helpful. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks much.